Hello everybody, this is Sadarklik back with you with Paracrew. Today we are going to be showing you how to install Chromium OS on the Raspberry Pi 2. Chromium OS is an open source version of Chrome OS, uh, which is you might know as the lightweight operating system that Google has been licensing uh, and installing on its Chromebook series. Uh, Chrome OS is mainly designed to run on low-end machines such as the Samsung Chromebook 13, which shares an, a similar ARM processor. So that's what made the Chromium OS port for the Raspberry Pi 2 possible. Well, before we start, I really want to thank the developer Dylan Callahan. He has made exceptional work on this uh, project and it's currently on beta 03. This is what we're going to be installing today. So first of all, what you want to do is head over to the Chromium RPI Reddit and you want to read through this post. I have it in the description, but even if you don't guys, I I'm going to have you pretty much covered. Although I would recommend taking a read through. Anyways, what we're going to need is a few files. First of all, we're going to need the Chromium OS image that you can download from the subreddit. I have the link in the description, as I said. You will also need the Chrome Dev configuration file, which we'll copy into our SD card once we're finished. So uh, we're also going to need a spare uh, micro SD card because you guys don't want to mess around with your main Raspberry Pi installation since this is kind of a beta image. So, once you have all this stuff and you have your Raspberry Pi, if you're on a Windows computer, you're probably going to need access to a Linux computer, but that is no issue since if you have a Raspberry Pi, you can run you can run the whole procedure through Raspbian, which I'm going to show you how to do it. So, first of all, what you want to do is plug in your SD card to your Windows computer and then open up Win32 Disk Imager. I have the link in the description for as many of you don't have it. There you go, open it up, and then you want to go where you have your um, Chromium OS image, and you want to right-click and extract it in the same directory. Now that the file has been extracted, we have a new Chromium OS image.bin. We're going to use this .bin to create our SD card with the Chromium OS operating system. So, switch back to Win32 Disk Imager and hit the folder icon and then go forward to and browse towards your image and over here where it says disk images just change it to dot and select the bin image and hit open now once you have it open what you want to do is you have already plugged in your SD card open up your file manager and take note of what your SD card letter is I don't have my SD card inside at the moment since I have already prepared it but uh, the letter is usually not C because C is your drive. So just take note of your SD card letter and select it over here where it says device and hit write. Now once the procedure is done just hit exit on Win32 Disk Imager and eject the SD card from your computer. Now once you have ejected it what you want to do is actually unplug it and connect it to your Raspberry Pi for, to which I am switching right now. Okay so once you're in your Pi what you want to do is open up the terminal and hit sudo pcmanfm if you're in Raspbian or else hit sudo and the name of your file manager in Ubuntu I believe it's Nautilus if I'm not mistaken and there you go you have a new file manager window open so what you want to do right now is open up uh, actually navigate to where you have your chrome dev.conf which you downloaded off the subreddit so I'm just gonna hit copy and then through the window navigate to the partition where your Chrome OS uh, installation is. In my case I have it here already and it's root A and once you're in the partition which can be also found under media pi root A you can go to etc and then once you're inside make sure that it's the right folder by verifying that a chrome dev.conf exists and then hit paste and you will get this prompt asking you to replace the chrome dev uh, .conf. hit overwrite and once the procedure is completed successfully what you want to do is you can actually close the terminal and eject the SD card okay, so once you have the SD card ready with all this procedure you're pretty much good to go so what you want to do is uh, shut down your Pi
And once the Pi is shut down, you will eject the operating system SD card, which is the Raspbian card. And then take the SD card that you used for Chrome OS to prepare Chrome OS and insert it into the SD card slot so you will be able to boot up Chrome OS. Now the first boot might take a few minutes, uh, it might even get stuck in a black screen for a while, but don't worry it will eventually boot if uh, the SD card has been prepared correctly. Now on the first boot some of you might have some trouble signing in to your Google account so what you have to do is to set the date because this current build has some issues with syncing time online so what you have to do is hit Control alt and f2 this will bring you up to a console and then what you have to do is enter these uh, commands one by one i have the commands in the description and uh, they're also in the subreddit post and uh, that's pretty much it you are good to go once you have booted up your pi you're free to do whatever you want although i'd recommend to uh, make a reboot uh, that instance because on the first boot there might be some lag issues. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.